Hello, welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can crochet a loose cardigan that I'm sure you will love because it's perfect for any occasion and you can use it casually. You may be wondering why I'm using this thing in my arm. Well, a month ago I broke my elbow, elbow <laughs> and I have a surgery and I was fine but I make some efforts while I was traveling and well I get injured again so I have to use this for a couple of days more and I the most important thing is that I want to crochet I want to continue crocheting but first I have to recover 100% from this but soon I will come back meanwhile I will show you how you can make this beautiful cardigan I made this cardigan years ago and it was all a success so that's why I wanted to show you how you can make this beautiful garment I will give you the material list first and then I will give you step by step if you are learning how to crochet well this is the perfect opportunity to learn how because it's so easy and simple you will see that in less than 15 minutes you will learn how to make it maybe in one uh, day you will have your garment ready to wear it okay well thank you also for all your comments and for all your messages as you know I, I read them as soon as I can read them I answer back and please if you don't follow me on my social media well please look for me and you can find me in Facebook Instagram and Pinterest and of course in my Spanish channel but well, let's don't lose more time. For this garment, you are going to need 300 grams of flandes. It has a little sparkles on it and we have in so many different colors. And we are going to need a crochet hook of number 9. You can make this part of the wrist with the hook and then use your fingers to crochet the body. But if you want, you can also use the crochet hook of number 9. Look, this is the hook. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Well, with one thread of our yarn and with our crochet hook, we are going to start making the risk of this side we are going to start from this side of the risk and then we will finish in the other side of the risk okay I think that this can be a unit size if you want to make it bigger well the only thing that you are going to change it's the wide okay but we are going to start making chains for the risk or if you want you can ca calculate the wide of this loose cardigan by uh, taking the measurements of the long of your arms. We are going to start making 18 chains for our wrist. We are going to make them loose look. And this will be the wide of our risk. If you want, you can make it bigger. Maybe you can make 20 or 22 chains according uh, to you, okay? Well, once we have the chains for our risk, we are going to make half double crochet in each stitch, like this. I will do it slowly so you can see how it is. Always taking the below part of the chain. So if we made 18 chains, we are going to make 18 half double crochet. Well, here I finished the half double crochet row, and here this in this thread it's going to indicate where we start and where we finished. And now we are going to start making the next row in relief. So you are going to grab your yarn and take the stitch by the back. Again, and now we take it from the front. I will do it again. Grab your turn, take it from the front, grab your turn, 
Now that you have three threads together, you are going to bring them through. Grab your yarn again, take it from the back like this, and again bring them through the three together. Look how I take the stitch. You have to take care that you always take these threads and you lift them up. So we are going to make this the whole row. You are going to make half double crochet in relief. I will do it again so you can see how it is. And we are going to continue like this, making a spiral until we have 15 rows. Look, here I have the 15 rows. I will show you how you are going to count them. So open your project like this. The first one doesn't count because it's the base, base chain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we are going to start the body. You are going to grab your yarn, make a chain, grab your yarn again, and you are going to make a half double crochet, loose. You are going to make them loose, one chain and again. Please try to make them loose. If you want, you can make these stitches also with your finger as you want, okay? You are going to make one stitch in each hole, look, like this in this one. After three stitches we are going to make one, uh, I mean two stitches in one hole. Look, two increased stitches. And again we are going to make three simples always with one change of division and then in the fourth we are going to make two together where we are going to increase. So here we have three and now we are going to make two together. So we are going to make one row increasing stitches and one row without increasing stitches. It is important too that you don't close the rows, okay? You are going to crochet in a spiral. At the end we must have six rows. Three rows where we are going to increase the stitches and three rows without increasing the stitches, okay? When we finish to make these rows, I will see you to teach you what's next. Look, here I finished my rows, and as you can see here I have one double, one simple, one double, one simple, one double, and one single row. And we have six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we are going to stop here, we are going to stop increasing because if not it will be too wide. So we are going to continue. Here we are going to turn around, two chains, two loose chains, and we are going to make half double crochet in the first stitch and one chain. So we are going to repeat the same and we are going to continue like this the whole row until we arrive here. Well, I will stop here. As you can see, this is the first stitch that we made and this is the last. So here we are going to turn around our project like this. We are going to go up with two chains and we are going to continue what we were making before, okay? So every time that we arrive here, we are going to turn around our project and we are going to repeat the same, okay? Please make sure that you don't reduce any stitches. You are going to continue like this, making 54 rows, okay? If you have more uh, along your arms, well, you are going to make more rows like this one. You measure the rows that you need like this, so you are going to place your project like this, so you are going to make rows until here, until the tip of the elbow, and from here you are going to start reducing to make the risk. Okay? So let's continue. We'll get ahead a little bit and we will imagine that we finish the 54 rows, okay? So when we have our rows, we are going to close the chains, we are going to make single crochet one chain and now we are going to repeat the same what we made at the beginning remember that we made three simples and then in the fourth we increase but here instead of increasing we are going to reduce so we are going to skip 
one hole and in the next one we are going to continue and again we are going to repeat after three simples we are going to skip one like this and at the end you are going to make six rows like you made at the beginning one with well <laughs> reducing one without one reducing and one without okay at the end of the six rows we are going to start making our risk okay so we must have 18 stitches and we are going to make them like we made them at the beginning remember that we took the stitches like this in relief and at the end we will have something like this okay so we are going to continue making 15 rows and it will look like this when you finish to make these 15 rows you are going to cut your thread and you are going to hide the threads and you are going to make a single crochet row here at the end of the wrist and also here and also around the body you are going to make a single crochet row to reduce a little bit if you want you're not you are going to make them loose first you have to try on to see how you want it okay so what do you think easy and fast right remember that you can make this a uh, project also for a, a smaller size maybe you can make them shorter so you can you can make instead of making three rows increasing stitches where you can make two and you will have a cardigan shorter okay but you have to try on like everything and with this you can calculate the measurements that you need remember that this is just an idea you can make it in different colors and you can match also with your daughters if you want you can make it with a more sparkle uh, yarn and it will be so fancy and beautiful for a party please if you make it send me a picture i would love to see you wearing this kind of garment thank you so much for watching this video bye